<laughs> Here we go. Oh, who came to see me? Do I have autism still? Do you feel like you still have autism? Let's talk about some of the parents that you all should model yourselves like. The topic of speaking on autism. Since, Please. Uh, and it's not being a victim. You know, you sound kind of white saying that. When a group that you don't belong to speaks on a subject, listen to them and take their word for it. Listen to them and hear their experience. But don't try to be like the white people that have policed you and your people. Stop doing that. You don't realize what you're doing? Stop it. That's horrible. That's disgusting. What type of example is that for your child? Stop trying to police black bodies. You worry about the brown ones over there. Leave me and my people alone. We good. Crazy, Parents of versus those of us that actually are. Where do I even start with this topic? Because y'all are draining as fuck. Let's just do that. Um, it's crazy how people that don't look like me, no matter how brown their skin may be, because I'm black, so get out of my face with that. Um, no matter how brown their skin may be, they will still try to take up for that, um, that pale shit. And they'll call themselves like, you know, policing your experience. And I just want to say for you and your child, congratulations that you found out at a young age. But if you haven't understood yet, my name is that autistic black man, M-A-N. There's man in there. I'm not a child. I was not diagnosed when I was a kid. That's the difference between me and your kid. You were probably there riding for them, making sure that they were seen. Do me a favor. Sit back and listen for once. Stop trying to overtalk somebody. Stop trying to invalidate my experience. Do that. Do that for me. Don't tell me about all the black kids and your kids in your son's class. Because guess what? They are still kids. They were diagnosed as kids. Why aren't you understanding that? Maybe the comprehension is not clicking for you. But those of us over here seem to get it. I hope they're paying you enough to lick those boots. It's crazy, though, because people like you would do exactly what I wanted you to do. Ass, That's how I know you didn't make it that far into the conversation without being triggered. And you are the hit dog. And you are hollering loud. Oh, you're mad at me, but let's talk about the problem that women have with getting a diagnosis. Why aren't you upset that it's harder for everyone to be seen? Because in the event that you actually made it that far in the video and you still somehow ignored those medical stats about medical students and the bias that they receive and they, that they later pass down to their, their patients, did you miss that part? Or do you just not care? Oh, that's right, because you're policing for white people. Stop that shit. A video on adult diagnosis being hard that included a bait that you fell for, a bait that proves that you didn't actually listen to the video, that you didn't actually watch the video, that you reacted out of your feelings because you were so pissed off that I used descriptive language and you already knew what I was talking about. I have a suggestion for you. Since I know that you're going to continue to hate watch content like this, do me a favor. When a group that you don't belong to speaks on a subject, listen to them and take their word for it. Listen to them and hear their experience. But don't try to be like the white people that have policed you and your people. Stop doing that. You don't realize what you're doing? Stop it. That's horrible. That's disgusting. What type of example is that for your child? It's like you stopped at your child and you want the world to treat your child like your child is special. But what about when your child is in a class full of others like them and they just don't like one another? Are you using that as a template and say that we're supposed to like one another because we're on the spectrum? We're both autistic, so we're supposed to get along. That's not the case. As you can see here, I've rubbed you the wrong way, and you probably will rub me the wrong way in real life. And to that, I say I give no shits. Do me a favor. Sit back and shut up and worry about you and your child. Stop policing black bodies and black experiences. Stop thinking that you know everything about everything. You don't. My experience is mine. Yours is yours. Both are valid. Again, shut up. You want that PC shit? Go over there for those people that give you that. You know the ones. You know those people. Oh, you didn't like when I said that last time. You know those people. You know the ones. You know the image that's already in your head. Oh, you didn't like that either, did you? See, that's the thing, right? When you tell me that you don't like something as if I asked you what you liked, I'm just going to give you more of that. Because I know, you, I know at this point you like to hate watch. So keep on watching me, hater joined in on my YouTube. So if anybody wants to see it, there's a lot of info on there. That was the point for doing it because the stuff I was experiencing and me having to sue the school district and pull my oh, son out. Man. Oh, it's so many facets to it, you know? Yeah. You got to know that, but a lot of people don't because you just don't know you can. You don't want to mess stuff up for your kid. They have the words in their head, but they just can't say it. Yeah. That's what Do makes you remember me... what that felt like? It felt like a ball stuck in your throat. Doesn't it get frustrating? Yeah, it does get frustrating after a while. But can you, I mean, you're lucky because you've got language, but there are kids at your age that can't, still can't speak. 
Do I have autism still? Do you feel like you still have autism? And how do we got that out of the way? Let's talk about some of the parents that you all should model yourselves like. There are, and I, I say this as someone that I love the parenting style of Holly Robinson Pete, as well as Faith Evans, um, two parents who are vocal and outspoken about advocating for their autistic children. What I don't like is the content where it seems as if you have a child that's nonverbal with high support needs, having a camera being shoved in their face, and you're highlighting those moments. That's the problem. When society only sees that image of autism, the rest of us are given a harder time with our diagnosis. Even getting that, why is it that that's all this being highlighted? You have a child licking their finger and then tapping food, that being a video that just keeps getting shared, the meltdowns. Like, why is that okay to be shown, but I can't, I can't express myself in the way that I express myself? Why can't I use this platform to now show you something different? Because that's exactly what I plan to do. I make music. I'm an artist all around. I'm a very creative person. I write, I sing, I rap, I play. But I don't bullshit. Not about my life, not about my opinion, and not about somebody trying to police me and telling me I should get over shit and to stop being a victim. You know, you sound kind of white saying that. They're uninformed, did not make it to the end of the video, I heard two seconds that I didn't like, so I hit dislike. It's those type of comments that let me know that I don't need to respond to you with the text. I'll just make a video because it's more than just one of you. And I need the next one to see this and to know, stop trying me. You don't have to like everything that's on TV. Do you get upset when you turn the channel and they're showing something that you don't like? Do you write in and say, I didn't like that? You don't have to say anything. And you're saying that I'm trying to make it a race issue. Sir or ma'am, Trust me, I've been living in this body for 43 years. I know racism when I see it and when I feel it. I've got a passport that's got pages added to it. I've traveled the world. I've lived in other countries. Trust me when I tell you I know racism when I see it. Stop playing in my face and go play in the sandbox somewhere else. Stop trying to police black bodies. You worry about the brown ones over there. Leave me and my people alone. We good. Crazy, bitch.